Today, we will be testing a one hour trading strategy. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 55 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. So if you're interested in more strategies and ones that are profitable, go back and review those videos. We've also tested 749 indicators with 301 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We've also retested in the advanced testing eight of the winning indicators. Four of them have been able to maintain the winning status. The best one, a 64% win rate. Now keep in mind that we test most of these indicators and strategies on the crypto and Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. Okay, so today we'll be looking at a one hour trading strategy. And so uh, this one contains a couple indicators that are extremely profitable. So there are three indicators altogether. Uh, one is the super trend and the other one is the SSL hybrid and lastly the QQE mod. And so all these can be easily found if you just go into the indicators and you type in uh, super, uh, you can get the super trend right here uh, by uh, Kavan. Uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because I'm gonna get it completely wrong. But this one right here, um, if you type in the SSL hybrid, this one here is by Mikkel, and then there is the QQE mod, which is also by Mikkel right here. And so you go ahead and put those on screen like so. Now the SSL hybrid has been changed just a little bit. And so basically we have turned off some of the visual components of it. And so we have unchecked everything in here except for the MA baseline, the baseline upper channel, and the best baseline lower channel. And so we've turned off all the rest of the visual components and that leaves us with this nice uh, thick band right here that is changing different colors. Super trend is just a standard super trend. It is on the input, input of the chart. We haven't changed anything on that. And the QQE mod, again, just on default, we haven't changed anything on that either. All right, so the setup on this is pretty easy. So what we are looking for is we are looking for when we get a shift in the super trend first and foremost. So when it switches from a buy to a sell like right here, then you can see that uh, we then uh, would like the, uh, the SSL hybrid line here the baseline is what it's called to be in the blue position and then moving down to the QQE mod here we would also like that to be in the blue position and so we have all those lined up at once right there and then what we're going to do is we are going to start a long position here we are going to put our stop just below the bottom of the baseline and we are going to target a 221 risk reward. And you can see that this one hit that 2 to 1 risk reward uh, rather easily there getting us to our take profit. Now, I did um, in uh, this particular strategy there are instances where uh, you get the super trend and let's say the SSL hybrid are both lined up. So super trend is giving a buy. The SSL hybrid is also in a blue uh, state and the QQE mod is not quite lined up to it. Now, as long as the super trend and the SSL hybrid do not change, uh, as long as they both stay in the buy position, so the SSL hybrid in blue, and of course the super trend in green, as long as they both stay in that buy position, 
uh, I did wait for the QQE to then catch up. And once the QQE did catch up and go blue, I would then enter then at that point there. I don't think, uh, let's see. So here's kind of an example of it. This one wouldn't be actually valid, but you can see we get the uh, the super trend here and the SSL hybrid is in the blue. So those two line up, but the QQE is not matching those. Now it does turn red right here or pink, I guess I should say. And so this wouldn't be valid, but if it had stayed blue this entire time, then when you get the blue QQE that then lines up, I would then take the entry there again with the stop right below the base baseline and a two to one risk reward on that. And so that is one um, slight uh, change that I did implement uh, while doing this testing. So, all right, so uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the uh, 50 trade test, the advanced testing of this to see what it's able to achieve over a uh, large sample size. And we'll pick this up on the other side to look at what this was able to achieve. All right, so before we take a look at what it was able to achieve over the advanced testing, I wanna give a quick shout out to our Patreon only channel here on our Discord server. So this is our Discord server here, and this is our Patreon only channel uh, where we have a private channel for all of our patrons to kind of hang out, take advantage of some advanced information that we post in here. Uh, this is Sasquatch, he is an amazing Forex prop trader. He is posting uh, pretty much every single day that the market is open. Uh, charts with uh, uh, the market analysis where he's marked out areas of support and resistance, channels, uh, areas of interest, and so on. Even in some cases, giving a write-up of exactly what he's doing and why. Um, in many instances, he's marking out where he's looking to enter into a trade, where he's looking to take profits, uh, where he's putting his stop. The whole deal, a lot of wonderful, great information here, advanced information, uh, stuff that you can easily learn from if you uh, are uh, kind of looking to take that next step in your trading journey. Um, our admin Jay is posting a regular uh, futures analysis, kind of same deal where he'll put up a chart marked out with areas of support and resistance where he's looking to take trades, where he's looking to exit trades. Uh, again, a lot of wonderful information in here for everybody to take advantage of. And so if you're looking again to take that next step in your trading uh, journey, then this is a really good place to be. So uh, highly recommend it. All right, back to our indicator here or our strategy. So over the 50 trade tests, we were able to get 15 winners, 35 losers. Uh, not a very good win rate at all. So with a um, one to two risk reward, let's say that for every winner that you uh, that you took, you were um, looking to bank two hundred dollars. Every loser, you were risking a hundred dollars. That means that your total loss would have been five hundred dollars in this particular case. Now, um, I will mention that there were a um, reasonable handful of the losing trades that didn't hit the full um, stop. And so this probably wouldn't have been quite the 500 loss here. I imagine it probably been around maybe break even or maybe just a slight gain, um, but not very much at all. Not for all the trouble that you'd be going through kind of just be treading water. And so this one um, doesn't look too good. Now this was tested on the one hour on gold. And so 
what I'm going to do is for the patrons, I'm going to do some advanced testing um, on a um, lower time frame to see if we can come up with a uh, better win rate out of this, maybe make it a few tweaks. And so over the next couple of days, um, if you are a patron, look for that to be posted for the patrons in the Patreon only channel. Um, see if we can come up with something a little bit better and uh, get this to a reasonable win rate, something that you can maybe make money off of. I know a lot of people love the SSL hybrid and the QQE mod and the super trend. So there are a lot of really uh, popular indicators. And so it's worth a shot to try to tweak these and see if we can get something better out of it. So, all right, that's it for this video. We will move on to the next video from here.